Frosty. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. The mountains are blue on the silver bullet this morning. It's our first day out. Big day, fun day. We got to break this motor in. Also got a little afternoon tournament, which asked me when tournament should be in the early spring. Technically still winter, afternoon. Let's make them the hottest part of the day. You know, maybe get some chili after the derb. It's just a fun derb, no big deal. Got one of my boys from Ketchiko, he's in town, and we're just doing a little, uh, you know, little industry gathering derb. But main thing is I gotta break this motor in. And uh, there's a couple reasons why you wanna do that. And I'll explain that while we get out on the water, but I gotta put some, put some miles on this baby. So I'm gonna head to Bucky's, put some fresh gas in it, get a little burrito, and then we're gonna head to the lake. Unfortunately, the lake is the Dead Sea. So probably not gonna catch any fish today, but we're gonna see if she rips, see if she's hot around the collar. Hey there. Oh yeah, y'all know it's safe now, don't you? You know it's safe now. Where's your boyfriends? Son of a gun. Had a terrible deer season. Maybe next year, maybe next year, there'll be more deers. All right, y'all, we are at the boat ramp. We're at the boat ramp right now. We are about to launch this boat for the first time ever. If that doesn't tickle your jollies. Oh man, she is clean, not a mark. I'm just waiting on uh, my buddy from Ketchiko to get here. I charged up the batteries last night. So as you guys saw in the, uh, the last video, I had a lithium battery installed in here. One 36 volter instead of doing uh, three 12 volts. We just did one. Safe space, weight. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if how that's gonna hold up, you know, with a full day's fishing. We're gonna find out. But I had this other charger put in as well from Pro Guide, and I'd, I'd have to charge them separately right now. I need to get a splitter. But I charged it fully last night. So two AGMs, one lithium. And we're going to break the motor in. So why it's important to break a motor in is you want to fully seal the rings uh, inside of the engine so you're getting all the pressure that's needed. You're not getting any wasted fuel, um, you know, burning more oil, just, you know, technical stuff that is not good that you don't want to have to deal with down the road. Take a day, run it two hours, two hours of running time, uh, under 4,500 RPMs, you don't have to run it, you know, straight two hours. Obviously, you stop, fish, do whatever. All right, my buddy Matt is here. It is time to dump it. Dump it and run it. All right, for some reason, my graph just cut, uh, it cut on. Not sure what we got going on here. I got to remember literally have to remember how to do this go on different views i remember loving the garments when i had them uh or at least the the main front graph and then when i switched to hummingbird i got used to it uh i didn't hate it i just really did not like the old school scrolling and, and punching in like to create a waypoint it takes like five minutes to, to punch everything in it's it's like cell phones back in the day when you know you had to text your buddy and it, it was like using the old like the physical buttons just doesn't happen anymore digital numbers letters emojis you know i could probably probably put a uh, poop emoji on a waypoint if i want to with his garment all right this is a big big moment here i'm waiting I'm waiting for it. Here we go. Oh, there you go, girl. There you go, girl.
sounds a little different. She's a little quieter. I don't know. My last silver bullet, it, it there was some extra pop on that engine, I'm telling you. But the uh, the throttle here is also a, it's a little bit sticky right now. I'm hoping that that uh, kind of breaks in, gets loose. My last one, that old girl, she was just, phew, you just slide it right on in the gear, nice and easy. <laughs> what up? Let's do it. We're doing derp today. It's my derp partner. Getting out there. Mr. Matt Kostievsky. What's up, dude? From uh, from the company of Ketchco. That's right. Ready to catch some fish <laughs> on the Dead Sea? <laughs> uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna run around for a little bit. Yeah. Kind of get get the motor. Get those pistons breaker in hot. Get the seals nice and lubed. And uh, we'll give her a dangle. First on pad experience, silver bullet. We're gonna trim her all the way down, full load. Full load on this engine. Bam! First fish just kind of breaking in the motor. Happy trails in the mouth. That is a red lip fish, folks, and that means it is cold. 48. 48 degree waters. See you, darling. All right, folks, you're not going to believe where that fish came from. Two and a half foot of water, 48 degrees. It's all, it's all about the grass. But sometimes when you get a sunny day and there's grass and we've had some recent rain, the water's kind of muddy, it warms up a little quicker than the rest of the lake that's maybe clear, deeper water. So I think that fish was just kind of coming up here to get a little sun on it. I've noticed last time I came out here too, around the grass when you start seeing these, it's not balls of bait, but it's like individual bait. You start getting into some, you start seeing some stuff on the scope. So good. Everything is working pretty well on the boat so far. We are an, uh, about an hour into break in. So we've still got another hour at running less than 40, 4,500 RPMs. And the derb is going to kick off here. And what do we got an hour? That's right. So we should have just put that fish in the well. I know. Hit it. <laughs> Dead go. Uh, people though, you know. Yeah, we're honest danglers, but you know, it was a fun tournament. You could have had some, you know, there's no lie detectors out here. Anyway, <laughs> vibe jig, happy trailer. Matt's throwing the, uh, throwing the clutch in that, the, in the red, red colors, red lips. I always say when they got red lips, throw red. It's kind of the general rule. But if you haven't got your happy trailers, you need to get you some. Excellent vibe jig trailer. It does hot yoga on meth. That's what it says on the package, I think. Derp time. Derp time, ready to roll, baby. Dream team. Fishing with Jackson. Dream team. Right here. Let's do it. You ready to catch a giant? Bad day to be a bass on Lake Ray Roberts, no, that's for sure. Like white yeah, bass. Yeah, white bass. Bad day to be a white bass. <laughs> that's it. There they go. I gotta stay under 45 RPM. We got a handicap. We're just gonna chill. Let the ocean calm down. God, All right, yeah. Jackson with a toad. We just came over a brush pile. There it is. Drop the trolling motor. First cast with the A rig. Big old, 
big old shad down in the belly. Dude, that's crazy. Let me see it. The unreleased A rig. Yeah, there it is. So this 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 bait's brand new, guys. Our new A rig with all the blades, saucies on it. And then look how just bare. Jackson showing us how it's done. I gotta see the shad down the throat. Yeah. See the tail, of the shad right oh, there. Yeah. That is cool. All right, we gotta get a measurement. Oh yeah. That's longer than my it's stick. Longer so. Than the board, so put it on the green rod, maybe. Yeah. We gotta. You have a scale on here too. Yeah. That'll probably help. Dude, way to break in my new boat with hey, a there you go. There you go. Is that the first bass on the boat? Uh, no, oh, the one, bass, yeah, second bass. Second bass. bass. All right, so we got to get a measurement on this fish. Let's That's see like here. Curve it to or something? Um, I, want, I, want, I think as long as we have a picture of the actual fish itself, but, I mean, oh, yeah, there's the, there's zero right there, James. Mm -hmm. okay. I bet that was the fish we saw on the... That probably was. I mean, it's sitting one there right big on fish. the edge. We saw one big fish on this brush pile. Close your mouth. <laughs> it's so cold, it doesn't want to close. Okay. Right there. Healthy Very healthy. 20 and a half. 20 and a half. half. Big <laughs> boy! Dude, that's yeah. awesome, man. That is awesome. Chucky mama. Go back on down. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. That water's cold. Dude, that's awesome. Sweet. Oh my gosh. That fish. Wow. Did you see it coming? Dude, I saw oh, did you it. Scope I brought it. it. Yeah. I, I, I scoped it and I saw it. I was sitting there. I was that like, is... that's a good. I didn't think it was that big. Little tournament update. So it's only like a three hour derb. But uh, that's the first fish landed, believe it or not. We were. We actually started crappie fishing because the, the tournament rules were that whatever is not a bass, if it's over 12 inches, counts as double. Is that correct? Yeah, whatever is, whatever is not a large, large mouth or white bass counts as double as long as it's over 12 inches. Gotcha. So we were like, eh, let's maybe go after some crappie or some white bass and found a couple brush piles and just idled over one literally first cast. So. Jackson works for Shields, and he uh, he does a lot of the uh, product management management and stuff for Shields uh, in uh, in Kansas City. So he doesn't come down to Texas very much in fish, but I can tell he's pretty dialed with the scope. So just let him do his thing, and boom, he might be getting big bass in the tournament. Just a little warning: if you're in a boat with someone, they have a phoenix. If they say get the net, the net is in the floor. Okay, this is, this happens a lot. They say get the net, no one knows where the net is because it's hidden. It's in the floor. You gotta lift this up, pull it out. And I just barely did because that thing was skin hooked. Well, y'all, we just waited in at the derb. We did it. It was by inches, and uh, I think Jackson got second. I think there was a. 20, uh, 21 inch cot. We got a 20 and a half. But the Dead Sea at least put out two bass today. Uh, that's kind of my norm. Kind of norm for the Dead Sea. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this lake for a big fish this year, though. We'll be back out here. And I still got to break in the Silver Bowl a little bit more before I can let it fly. So, might just be doing it out here. I tell you what, those Shields boys. Those guys that work in the store, they know how to fish. They know how to fish and hunt. Apparently they hire snipers. I was pretty impressed. Wabam, back at the fish cave, y'all. First impressions of the silver bullet. <sighs> She's a little sticky right now. We're, we're still warming her up, but last one, so smooth. I just loved it. I loved it so much. But how about that fish catching factor? I was able to catch a fish on the Dead Sea with the new silver bullet. Jackson was able to catch a five plus pound fish. Uh, therefore, it has Mondo capability. I'm digging that. All right, brand new baits for you guys to check out before I let you go. Of course, you guys have seen uh, some of the new soft flaskets that we've launched, the Happy Trailer, which I was using today. Uh, we've got the Love Grub, we've got the Lizard. Uh, we've got a lot of new plastics out. Those are available at googingsquad.com. And we also have some new hard baits blasting out right now. Uh, of course, red. Red color 
It is uh, really popular this time of year, so we've put it in uh, some of the hard baits with Ketchco. This is uh, the standard zinger. We also have jigs. Uh, we've got crankbaits and other hard baits in this color as well. Uh, brand new blade designs. This is the thumper in, in the spinner bait, which is a really good bait to throw this time of year, just going slow. Those, uh, those bigger, fatter blades, they pull a lot of water, lets you go really slow with the spinner bait, and uh, they have a lot of thump, so it puts out a good presence in the water. A uh, couple new colors here in the crankbaits. That's Shotgun Shad in the mini banger. And then in the standard banger, we've got a new perch color as well. Really nice dirty water color. Uh, all new size in the revolver. This is the mini revolver, it's four inch version. So um, quite honestly, this is the size we probably should have started with. We started with a little bit bigger size, but that one right there is just the perfect all around bite size. And then we have the rival, which is a glide bait. If you guys want to get crazy, kind of flatten your bill out a little bit, go after the bigs, get some drawing power. We do have uh, the rival and umbrella rigs as well. Uh, of course, you saw the umbrella rig in this video, which is the five uh, bladed version. We also have a standard version, no blade, and then we also have uh, a three uh, a three arm. Some of the states you can't have uh, that many arms, so we've got a variety of those as well. But thank you guys for watching today's video. More adventures to come in the Silver Bullet and out in the woods, and I will see you guys out in it. God bless you. See you later.